next installment of the 30 day hoof lift challenge with the next contestant up, which is Sugar. So let's see, so far she's not really showing much interest in to end participating in our challenge, but we'll see if we can change that here. Right here. Can you give me five? Good girl, give me five. Good girl. All right. So we haven't been practicing this too much, so we'll see how far we get today. But first I'm gonna move her body, not by pushing her, but by encouraging her to stand in a place that I would like better, but I still don't really feel comfortable with that position either. I'm not standing in a particularly safe spot. What I'd like to do ideally is get her to where she would stand right on this mat. So we're gonna keep working with trying to get her body in a good position because when I'm lifting their hooves to clean them, it always makes sense for me. I try to always be systematic in how I ask so that they will always know what's coming next. So I always start with the left front shoulder, left hind, work behind, right hind, right front, and then the end of the behavior, and I give them a click. So it's those four pieces of the puzzle um, that are what I'm looking to train, is all of those. Now, I'd like you to notice as this horse is moving around me, did you see how she sort of stumbled just a little bit, and her back kind of shook a little bit, and she's moving quite slowly and a little bit stiff. I don't know if you can appreciate that. But a lot of that has to do with the fact that um, she is, um, we don't know how old she is, to be honest with you. She was donated to our rescue. She was a ranch horse for many years, and uh, now she lives here with us. And one of the things that we've noticed about her is that um, she does definitely get a lot of swelling and inflammation in her legs if she doesn't get walked and get a little bit of exercise to keep that uh, inflammation out of there. So that's important to remember, too, when you are um, working on lifting legs with your horse or doing anything with them. If they have a history like sugar where we don't really know exactly everything that they've been through and how much her body might hurt, um, we just want to take it easy with her and um, give her the benefit of the doubt. So again, I'm standing in a very bad spot. I'm trying to see if I can get her around so that you guys can see. And some of it may be that she's feeling some discomfort um, about the camera, possibly. But clearly, no matter what, like we talk about in the master class, every horse has a right to be safe in their own safety circle. So if she's not feeling safe enough to come and approach me, um, then that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, because that just means I have more work to do in order to build her trust. And we're probably not even to the point yet. Can we give me five? Good girl. So we're probably not even to the point yet where I want to work on picking up her feet because if she's not even really feeling safe to come and stand next to me, oh, there she comes. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, thank you. Good girl. If she's not feeling well enough and safe enough around me to even want to hang out next to me, then we don't want to be picking her feet at this point, unless it's, of course, some kind of an emergency where we absolutely have to. She had a nail in her hook or something like that. Okay, so now her, her nose is below the line. She's coming forward. Her body's in a much, much better position. I'm actually going to put that on the ground, and then we're going to see what happens here with this hook lift. be careful with yourselves if you have a horse like her she was really trying hard and she was very hard for her you did so good it was very hard for her to lift her leg up yesterday we worked on this and she couldn't even hold her leg up for that long so I'm very proud of her that was really really good effort on her part but we have to understand that this isn't a horse that is uh, talking back or being resistant this is a horse that is of an unknown age with an unknown amount of arthritis that clearly has trouble lifting up her legs and standing on three legs.
So I'm going to just take a step back for a moment. I'm just going to actually change the frame, do something different. Let me try again. Lift. Good girl. And then I got, picked it up with a level two. So this was a horse that I was about to get into an argument with. Three, two, one, down. Good girl. Oh, good girl. About picking up that foot. And instead, I caught myself before pushing it to where I was asking her by lifting her leg up with more than a pressure of a two or a three. And instead, my little uh, intermission changed the frame, changed her mental thinking, kind of shook her out of being resistant and opened her up to cooperating. And we got it done right away. And I got a little exercise in the process. So on that note, that's enough for today. Um, with Miss Sugar here, we'll bring you her progress as we continue on this 30-day hoof lift challenge. And on that note, I'm Dr. Q, here to help you have the most amazing relationship with all of the animals in your life that you ever thought possible. Please subscribe down below and become a monthly donor to the Rescue Ranch. Take care. See you next time. Goodbye.